And Tyler is not only a very successful wrestler and uh, bon vivant and raconteur bien connu, and etc., but he's also uh, got a few protégés uh, in what is becoming a stable. Uh, you, these Cuban assassins have been a spectacular addition to the wrestling well, scene. Well, you know, Jack, I was here with you a couple of weeks ago. I think it might have been three, four weeks. I can't remember. And I was telling you about these guys. I found them in Cuba and everything. But this, ever since that, the people have been calling me and asking me so many questions about these guys. I wish those guys could talk English so they can answer their own phone, you know. But th these two guys are in demand now all over the world. You can't, you can't uh, keep them just here in Quebec because I, I realize that now. So I don't know what I'm going to have to do. All the promoters everywhere in the world are asking for the Cuban assassins. They're calling me. They want to know where I got them. I got them. Well, I explained that to you and the people mm -hmm. before. So I don't want to go over that again. But one thing for sure is... They look at these guys, the, the way they look, and I, I wouldn't tell the people that they're crazy, but they're a little wild, and they're hard to handle, I'll tell you that. A lot of times at night, I got to chain them to their beds when we go to nice hotels, because, you know, as you know, I always stay in nice places, and, uh, you know, and so I take these guys with me, and a lot of times they, won't, they don't want to let them in, so I got to tell them that I'm going to take care of those guys, but once I get them in the room, I got to tie them up to the bed with chains and stuff like that, you know, it's unbelievable. Well, now, their wrestling style is what makes them so popular. They're, I've never seen anybody. They, they fly through the air like uh, missiles, well, Cuban I, missiles. I'll uh, tell you, Jack, they're, they're, they're great athletes. I know that you know a lot about wrestling. You've been around the res wrestling uh, professional sports for a long time, and you know about athletes, and you know that those guys are in tip-top shape. And uh, the only thing is that it's hard to handle them. You, know, you never know what they're going to do right now. I'm just watching them because uh, you never know what's going to happen with those guys. They seem almost to be trained in the European tradition of uh, being a gymnast as well as being uh, pretty good wrestlers, too, and quite an attraction. Thank you, Tarzan, very much, and thank you, Cuban assassins. Gracias. Oh, okay. Gracias. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah.